Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I decided to film sitting on my bed, kind of casual, just keeping it chill today, like most of my videos. So I am going to do my week 21 update, week 21. That's crazy. I just wanted to thank you for over 30,000 of you guys. That's freaking insane. I don't know. I just feel like I don't even know what I feel. I just want to thank you. Um, I'm not going to go off on a tangent like I did in the last video because you probably are just here to watch the update. I am just going to get right into what I did this week. So Saturday the 6th, I did nothing at all. I had such a lazy day. It was amazing. Um, I just chilled out and did nothing. Okay, so Sunday, June 7th, I did the 15 minute workout the 11 line ab definition, which I'm actually starting to see some definition. So that's really cool. And I did the tone arm workout. I swear only doing this exercise once a week is actually pretty hard because when I was doing it more consistently, my arms were feeling a lot more strong. But now that I only do it once a week, pretty much, it's hard to get through, which is kind of weird to think. So as you guys know, Mondays are my hardest days um, I go all out on Mondays pretty much. So Monday, the 8th of June, I did the 2019 Summer Shred. I would definitely recommend that for a good hit cardio workout, whatever you call it. I'm not a professional. And then I did the Alexis Ren abs. I did the bra bulge. So the bra bulge exercise, I think it actually works, guys. And I'm going to show you real quick, probably once the... A little time lapse is done playing my back fat area like my bra bulge because I swear this these exercises work like here's my back like I'm just normal I don't know if you guys can hear me but like you see this that's insane and then I did the hip dips workout a lot of this is a very controversial but people always say oh don't do targeting workouts because they don't work your body's just gonna lose weight wherever it wants I mean at least I can feel the muscles being worked whether I'm gonna lose weight there or not at least I'm like using different muscles so I kind of just look at it that way and then Tuesdays I don't work out like normal it's my day off and moving on to Wednesday the 10th I did the 15 minute full body workout the do this every day to lose weight I feel like I say that in every video but it's true and then I did the Alexis Ren workout um, the 10 minute one Thursday I don't do anything because it's again my rest day and then Friday today the 12th I did the 30 minute workout it's the full body I don't know why guys like I just kind of zone out now when I do it not that I'm not focusing on my muscles and stuff and my body but I feel like I'm kind of getting used to it but also it still wears me out so much so I don't know if I should get a new workout or not I don't know I still like die during it so anyway then I did the back fat workout again, this bra bulge, and then I did the booty workout. And that's pretty much all I did this week. I don't know if I'm going to start taking Saturdays off. I'm really contemplating because I'm at like where I am and I really like where I am. But probably before the weddings, I'm going to do like a hardcore like push when we get closer to that time but as of now I'm like really happy where I'm at and you know I'm kind of just want to like maintain but you know still have some treats and stuff I don't know so I'm thinking about it don't really know what I'm gonna do let's move on to the updates and juicy stuff not really that juicy but um, a lot of you guys in the comments always ask me like how much do you weigh how tall are you my weight that I weighed on a 6'6", so this was last Saturday, like a week ago, I weighed 130 pounds and five ounces. So, you know, scales vary and stuff. So I could be like 131, I could be 129, I could be, you know, have some uh, ounces off. I don't really know. Um, I know I made a big deal in my last video about like, you're not defined by a number, but people have been asking me, so I'm not, it's not a big secret. I don't mind talking about it, but don't go asking other people that because it might offend them um, and you don't want to do that. My height is 5'5'1", five, five, um, like somewhere between that. I'm very short and stout, <laughs> short and stout. That's why it's like easier for shorter people to look bigger because we are shorter. So there's like less 
you know, room for your body to like stretch out. I don't know. It's just how it is. So I'm very short. I'm very tiny and petite. So that's why, yeah, I probably, there's not much room for this like little fat roll to go. So I mean, it just goes there. Another update I wanted to share with you guys. I am now currently on the medium resistance of the Chloe Ting resistance bands. I did purchase these. I believe they're about $67, but you get three of them in a pack. This is the middle one. And I'm sure you guys have seen me use the blue one in the past two update videos. So I really, really like these. A review of them is coming out soon. So be on the lookout for that if you guys are interested. They just say keep thrusting and I moved up a level of resistance, which is really good. I do have to take more breaks within the exercises because it's just so hard. This level is a lot harder than the pink level. Another thing I wanted to add was this past Sunday, it was super humid in our house because it has been raining like crazy here. And it was so hard to breathe when I was doing the workout. I don't know, I just randomly thought I would add that in here. Another thing I wanted to talk about is one side stronger than the other? Because when I'm doing the leg workouts and stuff, my right leg is a lot stronger than my left leg. It is so weird. So what do you guys think? Do you guys have that issue as well? I mean, I know that certain people have like a dominant side, like right-handed versus left-handed, but that's just another thing. The last topic I really wanted to address in this video was doing full body workouts. So if you guys are trying to lose weight, I'm not certified in like fitness or anything, but this is just what I've heard. If you actually want to lose weight and everything, you got to do like cardio. So that's why I, I always try to do a full body workout no matter what day. So I either do the 15, the 25 to 28 minute one, the summer shred, and then the 30 minute one. That is why I always do those because, well, my goal isn't to like lose a ton of weight but like if you want to you know get your body pumping and all that like you can do all the weight training or resistance training but like to lose weight you've got to like burn stuff so <laughs> burn calories i should say probably just always do the cardio like hit hardcore workouts sweat up a storm you'll probably see results because that's what i've experienced anyway let's just move on to the photos now so here's last week compared to this week on the left is Alex last week and on the right is current Alex. Here is the side view of that. I don't see much change, but I definitely have seen a bigger, like I feel a lot different. I think week 20 was that like, wow, I feel a lot different and I am noticing in my body the huge changes, like how I kind of mentioned earlier, the back fat is just drastically smaller, which I am so appreciative of. Let's move on to the pre-workout photos. So on the left is pre-workout Alex, on the right is now, this is the front view. And then here is the side view. You can kind of see what I was talking about. Now I'm starting to actually feel less of the back fat and it's just awesome. Even my um, stomach area is drastically smaller. So I just think that's really cool. So that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy my workout updates. I try to keep it real with you. It's fun for me to document and keep myself accountable. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.